my channel welcome to moving vlog number two it is saturday morning if you missed moving vlog number one definitely go back and watch that one i moved into my new apartment showed you the empty apartment tour got a few things unpacked but we still have so much to do so this morning i just went over to starbucks because i obviously haven't grocery shopped here yet so i don't have any food so i just grabbed some coffee and a croissant for breakfast there's a starbucks within really close walking distance from me which is just so good so i'm gonna eat my breakfast and then i think i'm gonna go over to target first thing this morning before it gets too busy on a saturday i have a list of things that i need including shower curtain hooks very vital so i'm gonna go over there and get those this morning we'll do a nice target haul and then the rest of the day is gonna be spent pretty much unpacking everything hopefully this apartment looks very different by the end of today guys kitty found a new hiding spot oh <laughs> i see you Target. We're gonna do a little haul. It is so easy to spend all your money at Target. Like I just took one trip there, was there for like 30 minutes, and I spent $300. So let's go through everything together. First up, I got some laundry stuff. I'm trying this brand Everspring for laundry stuff. I've tried some of their cleaning stuff before, but never laundry. I think the ingredients are a little more natural than like Tide. So this is their detergent and then fabric softener. We'll see if that ends up working well. Also from Everspring, I got these little dryer balls. There's three in here. They're just like wool dryer balls that you throw in and they help reduce static. I've been meaning to get some dryer balls, so I saw these and thought I'd grab them. Also got a few food items. I just got some kettle corn to snack on. Got a box of Starbucks Pike Place K-Cups. Still need to set up my Keurig. Got some seltzer. I haven't tried this flavor yet. It's the Good and Gather Strawberry Mango. Thought that sounded good. I just picked up two quick and easy frozen meals. I figured I could have these for lunches until I do like full grocery shopping. Got some butter. Got this giant jug of kombucha. Got the French Vanilla Nut Pods Coffee Creamer. I've been obsessed with nut pods ever since I tried it. Then just needed a few personal items. I got toothpaste shaving cream and a new razor this is the same razor i had before but it comes with like a little shower holder that like sticks to the wall and i didn't take that with me because it was like not really sticky anymore so i just got a whole new razor so that i could get a new shower holder thing got some dish soap this geranium scent from mrs myers smells so good i am almost out of body wash so i just picked up this native coconut and vanilla one i've never tried natives body washes before so i'm excited i like the packaging look super random but my tv remote for my bedroom tv stopped working a long time ago i've like replaced the batteries a million times and it just like none of the buttons work so i picked up this universal remote and i'm gonna try to figure out how to connect it to that tv in there got some more filters for my pure water filter that i keep in the fridge then for some actual fun stuff i got some new bathroom decor slash like storage items so i went with this like gold clear set so i got two of the little storage canisters to put like cotton rounds and q-tips in then i got the matching little toothbrush holder and then i got this soap dispenser they did have a soap dispenser that matched this but i didn't want it all to be like too matchy matchy so i liked this one better because it has the gold to tie in but a little different and then i got this really pretty tray that i figured i can just like throw jewelry in or whatever got the shower curtain hooks to hang that got some little kitchen dish sponges and then i got these towels to keep in the kitchen they're just like white textured towels last but not least i got this shower organizer so i can keep all my shower products in here make it look super nice and that is the target haul so i'm going to start putting some stuff away i feel like i'm just overwhelmed there's so much to do and i like, don't really know where to start but i think i'll start with just finishing up unpacking my clothes because that will clear out some more suitcases and those like plastic bags and then we'll go from there
update. I have finished unpacking all my clothes, so I'm gonna show you how I organized everything. Starting with my dresser. So top left drawer over here is underwear, socks, bras, bralettes, that kind of stuff. And then top right drawer, I just put matching PJ sets and then also like sweat shorts, comfy shorts. We have like skim sets, stuff like that. Then down here, we have all of my tank tops from like here over and then this is like short sleeve shirts. Then over here, this is all long sleeve stuff that I like to keep folded. All the bulkier stuff I hung, but this is just like long sleeve shirts. Down here is all denim, very straightforward. And then this drawer is other pants. So I have like leather pants, trousers, stuff like that. So pretty much all of my pants that aren't denim. Then moving over here to my smaller dresser that I had for my old apartment. When my mom and I were moving this out of my apartment, we knocked off one of the knobs. So it's up here, but the little screw got bent. So I need to replace that. Top drawer, I haven't put anything in yet. Then in this drawer is where I have all of my t-shirts. So like graphic tees, sleep shirts, stuff like that. This drawer is all sports bras and like workout tops. So I have like all my Amazon tanks some target tanks and then all my sports bras this drawer is biker shorts all over here and then a few other like athletic type of shorts and then in the bottom drawer we have all of my leggings moving this way so in the main closet in my bedroom I did all of my like nicer clothes I guess you could say originally I was gonna have all my sweaters and sweatshirts in the hallway closet but I had too many of them, so I moved all the sweaters over here. So I have like all my sweaters, shirts that I like to hang, and then dresses, all in color order, of course. Still need to organize this whole shelf situation. In this closet in here, this is my favorite closet. I just have all my sweatshirts and hoodies, so this is like the comfy, casual closet. And then up there, I have my sweatpants. I have a lot of sweatpants packed away in my kitchen boxes, actually, because I used them to, like, wrap glassware and stuff that was breakable. So I still have more sweatpants to unpack. That's going to be sweatpants up there. And then all my sweatshirts here. I also tucked my suitcase away back there. Not sure if it's going to stay there, but I think that's a good place for it. Then if we go in here, I haven't done anything with that closet yet, but in here, I just hung all my coats. I have a few that I left at my parents' house, so there's going to be a couple more. And I also ran out of hangers, so I'm going to get more of these gray hangers so that they can all match. But I just had some other random hangers so using those temporarily but I think I'm just gonna have like half of this be a coat closet and then down here I have all my shoe boxes which I haven't organized these yet this is just where the movers set them but I might like stack them all over here so they're like easier to get to so it'll be like shoes on this side coats on this side not really sure yet but I just know I don't have enough coats to like fill this whole closet so I want to do it kind of like half coats and then half something else but yeah that is what we've done so far I wasted a lot of my afternoon trying to set up my Wi-Fi. I'm using my own router and setting it up to Fios, but I was having issues. The guy was like, you just plug it in and it'll be on, like that's it. Making it sound so easy and I thought I was going crazy, like not getting it to work. Um, so I literally spent like two hours Googling how to set it up and it turns out I wasn't doing anything wrong. The cord that like connects to my apartment unit's ethernet plug thing outside in the hallway is not there so the verizon guy came and he was like yeah you need to get like a tech specialist to come so long story short i don't have wi-fi yet and the guy can't come until monday so kind of annoying but i'll just use my phone on data to do stuff but yeah i won't have wi-fi until monday because it's like out of my control so yeah it's a little later in the afternoon than i would like for it to be because i still have a lot i want to get done today but I think the next order of business is unpacking my bathroom boxes with like all of my skincare products, makeup, like all of my beauty products. I have to figure out where those are going in the bathroom and I also need to hang the shower curtain in there and just kind of get the bathroom put together. <laughs> Thank you. 
how satisfying is this cabinet? I'm so obsessed. I had to put all the taller bottles down here, so I did like this random serum and then makeup remover, toners, my oil. This shelf is all moisturizers and then an eye cream. Serums are all on that shelf. And then up here we have sunscreens, lip products, and acne medication. Could not love that cabinet anymore. Now I have to figure out what to do with these. This one, like one of the shelves is moved lower so I can put all my taller products in there. Like these things didn't fit in that cabinet at all. Hey guys, I just finished putting my bathroom all together. This feels good to have one full room complete and not a mess. Here's a little tour. Hung up the shower curtain, love it. And also hung up the shower organizer, so that looks really good. Then for the sink area, I think all the little organizers look super cute. So I just have cotton rounds in here, Q-tips in here. My bath mat is down here. And then underneath the sink, it is so organized. So this right side, I have all of my makeup and these drawers slide out. So it's super easy to grab something that's in the back. So I just have foundations, more foundations, concealers and other like liquid products back there. And then down here, I have like all powders, blushes, bronzers, highlighters, some eye stuff, setting spray, miscellaneous items. I also put some like drawer liner that sticks to the bottom so these don't like slide around. And then on this side I have all my hair stuff so all my hair products are in here. And then my hair tools and brush up there and then I just have some makeup brush cleaner and like random stuff tucked away back there. Then for the mirrors you guys saw this side. This is definitely the most satisfying cabinet with all my skincare. This one is not as cute. I just have like medicine cabinet stuff, pimple patches, teeth whitening strips, some extra razors up there. And then over here, I still have some space if I find more stuff packed away that I could put up there, but I just needed to fit all of my taller products here. So I have like body lotions mostly. And that is it. Very happy that this room is done. It's getting late. I think it's around like 8.30 right now. I am gonna take a shower and I want to get into pajamas, but I might do a little bit more unpacking after I get out of the shower. nightstands. I have to have Wi-Fi to be able to set up like the colored lights and everything. So for now, they're just regular light bulbs. It's getting late. It's been another very long day, so I'm tired. So I'm going to head to bed and end off this vlog here. Hope you guys liked it and I hope you are enjoying the moving vlogs. Today was super productive and tomorrow is going to be another busy day. So I'm going to be vlogging again. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these vlogs. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.